welcome to my piano studio. Today we're going to study major chords. And if you don't know the basics about piano, like where C, D, E, F, and G are, then refer back to a previous lesson I have for that. So I'm assuming you know C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, the basic white note scale. And it helps to know the names of the five black notes. So the one between C and D we'll call D flat, then E flat, then G flat, A flat, and B flat. Sometimes we'll call them their sharp names. This note will be F sharp or G flat. This is G sharp or A flat, A sharp or B flat. And then the one between C and D is C sharp or D flat. And the last one is D sharp or E flat. Sharp goes to the right, flat goes to the left. To the right on the piano is up in pitch. Down is to the left, which is downward in the scale. Okay, those are the basics that you would need to know to be able to do this lesson on making the 12 major chords. Okay, so I have a pattern for learning the 12 major chords. They have a family. There are six families. The first family is the all white note family. So the first rule to finding any major chord is to be able to start with every other white note starting the lowest note being the name of the chord you want to name. So if it's a C chord, you're going to play every other white note starting on C going up. So you have a C, E, and G, just every other white note. So you're skipping a white note in between. C, E, and G. Now in the chord family that is the all white keys, you have three chords. The first one is C, the second one is F, so go up and find an F, C, D, E, F, C, D, E, F. Now you start on F, and then you go every other white note, F, F, A, C. That's your second all white chord. First one is C, second one is F. The third one is G, so go up one more step from F to G, C, D, E, F, G. Start on G, then go every other white note up. G and B and D makes a G chord. So you just want to find those three main chords that are all white. You go every other white note starting on the name, C, F, and G. So the only thing you really need to remember is C, F, and G are the three chords in the all white note family. C, Go up to F, C, D, E, F, F, and then up one step to G and make a G chord. So go ahead and try and play those three chords. C, F, and G. Good. All right, that's your first family. The second family is a white note name but we'll have some black notes in the chord. So the second family is the white, black, white family, which means in the middle is going to be a black note. And the easy rule for finding it is find the name of the chord, then take your three fingers, put them in the place of every other white note, then raise the middle finger to the black note. That means sharp it, go up to the right, okay? So the first one in the chord family of the white, black, white family is D. So go up to D, C, D, D, go every other white note, then raise the middle finger up to the black note. So you're going to start with every other white note. That's not a major chord, but it is a chord. Now to make it major, you raise the middle note up to the black note. And in this chord, the D chord, that's an F sharp. D, F sharp, A. There you go. There's two more chords that are just like that. You use the same pattern. Go every other white note, raise the middle finger. 
So the second one is E. So from D, you go up one step to E. C, D, E. At E, go every other white note, then raise the middle finger. There's your E major chord. Remember the first one is D, just down a step. Every other white note, raise the middle finger. Go up one step to E. Every other white note, raise the middle finger. Like that. All right, the last one is a jump up to A. Remember where A is, is C, D, E, F, G, and there's only seven letters in the alphabet in music, so you start over at A. C, D, E, F, G, A, there is A. That's the last one in this family. Every other white note, raise the middle finger. So, on this cheat sheet, the 12 major chord families sheet that you can download with my packet, I have a link to it in the description. So in the second line where it says white, black, white, three chords, the first one you should write is D, second one you should write is E, and the last one is A. D, E, A, D, E, A. So let's play all three of the chord family of the white, black, white, starting with D. Play a D, put your thumb or your bottom finger on a D. Every other white note, raise the middle finger. There's your D chord. Now the second one is E. Go up one step, same pattern. Every other white note, raise your middle finger to a black note. There you go. Now jump up four notes up to the A. E, F, G, A. Every other white note, raise the middle finger. Now see if you can jump to the three chords. D. Up one step to E and up to the A. All right, good job. So you've got two chord families and that's half of your chords. There's 12 chords and that's six of them. So if you go up in steps starting on C, C is the all white, every other white note. Go up one step to D, that's the white, black, white. So raise the middle finger up to a sharp. E has the same pattern as the one you just did, so it's a middle note is sharp. Raise the middle finger, E. Now we're at F, that's the all white. Now G, all white again. Now A, it's the white, black, white. Raise the middle finger. Let's play them again in order. You try and remember, are they all white or white, black, white? Starting on C. Now D, now E, now F, and G, and A. Very good. All right, now we're on the third family, which is also starting on a white note to begin. So the name of this chord is a white note. Then the other two notes in the chord are black. So we start with the first note being white and we're gonna call it B. So go up from A one more step to the B. Now, the third and the fifth finger, or the two top fingers, the middle and the top, are now black and you're gonna raise them. So you're gonna go up in the middle and up at the top. Two black notes at the top, but the bottom one is white. So it's a white note chord called B. Every other white note, raise the middle, raise the top. That's your B major chord. Now you have all seven white note chords. B major. All right, let's start at the beginning. Three families now, all white, white, black, white, and white, black, black. So let's start with C, go back to middle C or any C. Every other white note, it's an all white chord. All right, now the next one is D. That's a white, black, white, so raise the middle finger. Good. Now E is also white, black, white. Raise the middle finger. Now F is back to all white. G is also all white. A is white, black, white. Raise the middle finger. And the last one now is B. 
raise the middle and the top to a black note. And then to top it off, end on C again, which is all white. You have all seven white note chords. Now the fun part is doing all three of those opposite chords. Every one of these families has an opposite. The all white chords have an all black chord as an opposite. The white black white chords have a black white black chord. Three chords as their opposite. And the white black black chord has an opposite that is black white white. So these are all chords that have a flat name as their name. So let's do the first one. This is the most fun. This one everyone thinks is the hardest, but it's the fun one. I like it the most. So we have three all white chords. They are C, F, and G. The opposite chord for the all white chord is the all black one, and that is one that's exactly in between the F and the G. So this one has equally used sharp name or flat name, but by playing all the piano songs I play, it's more often played in the flat key. So remember what we call these black notes. They can either be a sharp name or a flat name. So when we raise the F up to a black note, it's called F sharp. But when we lower the G down to a flat, it's called G flat. And this is what we're going to call it. But on our chart that you're going to fill out, you're going to call it both names because it's equally both used. So if you raise all three notes in an F chord, so raise the thumb or the lower note to a sharp, raise the middle note to a black note, and raise the top note to a black note, you have all three are black notes. And they're on the sharps if you call them F. So this is called the F sharp major chord but it's most often called the flat chord from G. And if you go down from a G, all three to the black notes, it's called a G flat major chord. So write a G flat and then put a slash and then write F sharp. So you can go in between F, black them all, up to sharps, F sharp, then go back up to all white notes up to the G, then go G all down to the black notes, G flat, then go down to the white. It's fun, try it. F major, F sharp major, G major, now go back down. G flat major, then F major. Very good. So now you have the all black major chord, G flat major or F sharp major. Now, the other two pattern families are the same names as the three that are the opposite family, but you put a flat in front of them. So remember our white, black, white family. We raise the middle note. D, E, and A. The opposite of the white, black, white is the black, white, black. So what you do is you start on the name of the white notes. So we're going to go to D. Now instead of raising the middle finger, you're going to lower the bottom finger, keep the middle finger right where it is, and then lower the top finger. So we call this, instead of D major, we're calling it D flat major. So on your black, white, black pattern, write D flat as the first chord in this family. D flat. Starting on D, every other white note, lower the bottom, lower the top. Don't move the middle finger. Keep it as an anchor right in the middle. Okay? There's your D flat. You're going to follow the same pattern for the other two, which are also the same names as D, E, and A, but you put a flat after them. So we just did D flat. Let's go up to E. Get your every other white note in E. Now, keep the middle finger anchored. Don't move it. Keep it there. Lower the bottom note. Lower the top note. This is called E flat major. Try it.
Go back to the white, E. You're going to try an E flat major chord. So lower the thumb. This gives you your E flat, which is the name of the chord. And then you've got to remember to lower the top note too. Keep that middle finger anchored right where it was. E, E flat. All right. The last one is A flat. So go up to your A, every other white note. Keep your middle finger right where it is. Don't let it move. Lower your bottom note to a black note and lower your top note to a black note. And there's your A flat major chord. So let's go through these three. D flat, E flat, and A flat. Jump down to D, C, D. Every other white note, keep the middle finger where it is. Lower the bottom note and lower the top note. D flat major. Okay, let's do E flat major. Go to E, every other white note. Keep the middle finger there. Lower the bottom note, lower the top note. E flat major. Last one, A flat major. Jump up to the A, every other white note. Lower the bottom note, lower the top note. Keep the middle finger there. A flat major. So once you get used to these chords, your hand kind of gets used to the position. I can hold this position of my fingers in the air and know that if I don't move anything, I can play all three of those chords without even having to find them. Just go down to the D, D flat, E, E flat, A, A flat. Good job. Now let's switch between the two families. Let's do the D major family, then the D flat family. So you just switch everything. Start with all white to make the D, raise the middle finger. Now to make the D flat, get your third finger back on the white note and lower the outside ones. Now go back and forth, see if you can. You're just swapping the black notes for the white notes. Black, white, black, D flat, switch, white, black, white, D, D flat, D, D flat, D. Let's do the same thing with E. E major, middle finger up, put it back to white, lower the outside, E flat. Swap them, white's on the outside, black in the middle, D, E, sorry, E flat. E, E flat. All right, let's do the last one, A. A and A flat. Start with A, black note raised in the middle. Now lower it back down and lower the outsides to the black notes, A flat. Swap them, outside notes white again, raise the middle finger to the black note. A, swap it, A flat. And the last one, the last one, the last chord family, black, white, white, the opposite of white, black, black. These are our fun Bs. White note, B, has two raised notes at the top. White note at the bottom, the two middle, the middle one and the high one are raised. Now it's easy to do the black, white, white, keep them all white lower the thumb or, or the lower note only. Keep the other two right where they are. So all you do is take the bottom one and lower it to the B flat. This is B flat. Now swap them. Go back to all white, raise the top two. B, come back to white, lower the bottom, B flat. B flat, swap, B. B flat, B you have all 12 chords. So, do you think you can do all 12 in a row? Let's do it. From C all the way up to the high C, there's 12 chords in between. C is all white, so every other white note. Now, we could go up to D, but we are, we'll be skipping one if we don't do D flat first, because that's the note that comes next. So, D flat is the black, white, black. Start with D. Lower the outside notes. Keep the black, keep the middle note anchored at the white. Go back to it. D, 
D flat. The next one up is D. That's white, black, white. Every other white note, raise the middle finger. Good. Next one. Next one going in order is E flat. That's a black, white, black. Start with E, keep the middle note white, lower the outside, E flat. Next one up is E. Every other white note, it's a white, black, white, so just raise the middle finger, E. Next one up is F, all white, every other white note. Now this is the fun one, raise everything to a black note, F sharp, or G flat. Next one up, all white, G. Just raise everything up to the all white notes. Next one up in order is an A flat. So you go to A, keep the middle note white, lower the outsides. A flat, black, white, black. The next one is A. It's white, black, white. So just go to A, every other white note, raise the middle finger. Very good. Next, the next one in, in order is B flat. This is the fun one. B, lower the thumb. There you go. The next one up, this is your last chord. This is chord number 12, is B. This one is white, black, black. So start with B, raise the top two. There you go. And then you go right back to C, all white. See if you can do them in order. A little bit slow at first. I'm not gonna say everything. I'm just gonna say the name. You try and remember, is it white, black, white, black, white, black, all black, black, white, 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 black, black, or all white. Okay, C. Look at your chart. C, ready, go. Next one is D flat. Next one is D. Next one is E flat. Next one is D, E. Sorry, E. Next one is F. Next one is F sharp or G flat. Next one is G. Next one, A flat. Next one is A. Next one, B flat. Last one, B. And end on a C. Now see if you can do it fast. Here we go. C, D flat, D, E flat, E, F sharp, G flat, G, A flat, A, B flat, B, and C. Good job. If you get all a pro at that, let's go backwards. Start at that high C chord and let's go down. C, B. B flat, A, A flat, G, G flat, F sharp, F, E, E flat, D, flat, and lastly, C. You did it. Now do it fast. Now back down. Very good. Let's review. Chord family number one, all white, C, F, and G. C, F, G. Second chord family, white, black, white, D, E, and A. 
D, E, A. Next chord family, B major. White, black, black. Third, fourth, fourth chord family, all black. In between F and G. F sharp, G flat. Fifth chord family, black, white, black. D flat, E flat, A flat. And the last chord family, black, white, white, B flat. All right, study those, go over as much as you want to go, and we'll go to the next chord lesson where we learn about different types of chords besides major chords. So have fun.